This is how a radiologist diagnoses pneumonia. 84-year-old female, shortness of breath period, frontal and lateral views of the chest period. This is an algorithm called ChexNet that's trained to do the exact same task. And this is how it performed against six doctors analyzing 50 chest x-rays for pneumonia in a recent test at Stanford. ChexNet is one of many projects exploring how artificial intelligence can take over tasks normally done by doctors. And it has some radiologists worried that AI could one day replace them. That's because algorithms are getting really good at interpreting images and diagnosing disease, sometimes with greater accuracy than humans. We'll take a picture of this x-ray. The model will then run and within a few seconds it's outputted all these diseases and they're sorted by the order of most likely to least likely. ChexNet was given tens of thousands of images and told which ones have pneumonia and which don't. Then it trained itself to recognize patterns and identify pneumonia in new x-rays. This process is called deep learning. In 2016, computer scientist Jeffrey Hinton, also known as the godfather of deep learning, put radiologists on notice. People should stop training radiologists now. It's just completely obvious that within five years, um, deep learning is going to do better than radiologists. Part of the reason guys like Hinton say radiologists are replaceable is because they often work behind the scenes. Say you go to the emergency room with a really bad cough. The ER physician will order a chest x-ray, which is then read by a radiologist who gives a report back to the ER physician. Vice News spoke with Dr. Matt Lundgren, a radiologist at Stanford who's helping to develop new AI technologies. As a patient, you're telling me that this process of reading my x-ray, which used to be done by a human, is now done by an algorithm. Why would I want this? Well, so I don't, even I don't feel comfortable with that, right? Would you fly a plane without a pilot? The situation that, that you just described is not one that has no physician in the loop. For narrow use cases, I think it would be a tremendous benefit as a patient to have you know, my doctor get information from some of these algorithms if they're shown to work. What happens when the AI misses an important diagnosis? It's something that comes up all the time. No matter what happens, if we are saying that we're going to use these algorithms clinically, there will ultimately be a time where an algorithm will make a mistake. The responsibility for the use of that algorithm will ultimately fall, I'm assuming, on you know, a combination of the clinician and the healthcare system that's using this algorithm in that way. Concerns aside, this research has created a gold rush for AI in medicine. All of it on display here at the annual meeting of the Radiological Society of North America. So this is a super chill MRI that also uses artificial intelligence to compensate for movement of the body, like my breathing, and still get an accurate reading. Do you ever feel like you're training your replacement? Yes, I hope so. Um, I think in academic really, medicine... Really, you hope, you hope that this algorithm will replace you? Absolutely. Dr. Constance Lehman is a radiologist and Harvard Medical School professor who's also working with AI. She helped develop a model that measures breast density, a risk factor for cancer, in mammograms. I am constantly teaching the next generation. So I have students come through. I hope they're smarter than I am. I hope they're better than I am. I hope they're stronger than I am. So in some ways, I may have sort of anthropomorphize this machine learning process. This is your student. This, this is, your... is my student. And she is relentless. She works 24 seven. She never stops. She's looked at now over 200,000 mammograms. And that efficiency has worried some doctors in training. In a recent survey of Canadian medical students, 29% of respondents agreed that AI would replace radiologists in their lifetime. And 68% agreed that AI would reduce the demand for radiologists. For context, there are an estimated 38,000 radiologists practicing in the U.S. Is there a fear that radiologists will be replaced by AI? There is a fear. So that's a very limited view of the role of a radiologist, because we do much more than search for patterns on images. And it's all those other aspects of the radiologist's job and our contributions to healthcare that will explode. AI allows us to expand our impact and expand access to people worldwide. AI researchers say it will make radiology more accessible, lower costs, and save critical time in emergency care. But not everyone is convinced that the revolution is imminent. Dr. Paul Chang of the University of Chicago thinks AI will change his field, but cautions against all the hype. 
We're seeing this gold rush right now. There are a lot of startups here promising to bring AI that'll revolutionize medicine. Right. How much of all of this is just hype? Do you want me to be nice or do you want me to be honest? Honest. Honest? Uh, most of it. Uh, but that's understandable. That, that's the normal process of this hype cycle that we always go through. In the gold rush, everyone went west thinking they could dig for gold. Most of those people failed or literally died. We have the same idea. We get seduced by use cases or applications. What will happen at the end of the day is we will learn to appropriately consume artificial intelligence to hopefully add value to our patients. I actually think the, the work that Stanford is doing is actually going to be helpful and eventually we will use it, not because it outperforms me, but it's going to augment me.